everyone, my name is Katarina from Garden Design Tools. Uh, today, 17th of September, we added 2018, we added another course to our platform of courses online, uh, SketchUp Basics for Garden Designers. That's the course I wanted to show you today. Um, so it's a, a great complement and is actually the base of everything of the other course as well. Uh, we had a lot of people with uh, still didn't knew uh, about SketchUp and uh, SketchUp basics, so they couldn't progress to the other course. So that's why we decided to do this course. So we have um, 71 lessons. It's actually 10 chapters. Um, the lessons include it's all in autoplay. Sorry. Um, so this is what you see inside the course. Okay, so you have here the chapters, it's actually in 10 chapters, but it has introductions and is not um, all fully uh, content video. Okay, so but 71 uh, lessons in total, including with checklists and resources, PDFs, etc. But there is a lot of videos. So we have an introduction to the course, introduction to SketchUp, organizing your project before you actually start working and organizing by layers inside SketchUp, getting your project data, so what the type of, fold of files you can import into SketchUp and um, the information you need from your client's garden um, and working with geolocation and terrain inside SketchUp. So the garden project, we start working on a, a, a concept garden. Uh, actually, it was a garden I had a few years back and uh, I clean it up and bring it back to, to for this course. Um, yeah, but textures, materials start having a little bit of fun here. So I, I advise if you really want to do the course, um, get uh, a project that you are working on um, currently or an older project, just get actual project, okay, with the actual things that exist there, with the actual building. Um, it's much more difficult if you completely blank and you don't have any context for your project. So it's really nice to, to see the videos and experiment yourself, uh, okay, when you when you stop the video. Another thing is, um, and the next chapter is important elements for garden designers. So this is the f the fun part. This is what I like the most. What it means is adding pergolas, adding furniture, adding plants to the to to the project and decoration and complements and all this. This is a, a lot of fun, and we just start seeing things coming together. Okay, so exploring 3D warehouse uh, chapter. I only do the the. the the exploring the 3D warehouse, despite of talking it before in the in the course, at this point, so it because you don't get a, a bit overwhelmed with the quantity of models and uh, information you have in the 3D warehouse. Okay, it's really important to get first your ideas and then add some furniture, add things that uh, from the 3D warehouse. But your ideas and your design should be the things that prevail in your model. Okay. Um, Render and rendering and animations, uh, exporting to the images and animations inside SketchUp. And I have a video here, a little bit of a glimpse into Lumion. Okay, so just so you know how it works with the, how it works with Live Sync with SketchUp, it's seamless how it works with SketchUp. It's a great tool. Um, plugins to have, so all the, the course is done with the basic SketchUp, what comes with SketchUp Pro 2018, um, but um, I really wanted to show you how you can build on top of SketchUp, on top of the base that SketchUp and what it comes with, the basic tool that comes, and you can, you have a uh, extension warehouse, like you have the 3D warehouse, you have extension warehouse that has amazing extensions and plugins you can install into your, your SketchUp program the software so and this is some of the some of them and how to install them and some suggestions um, I will uh, in a Facebook group suggest more uh, extensions and that uh, I find that useful always uh, for garden designers and landscape architects so tips and tricks is uh, bits and pieces I didn't talk about uh, in the rest of the course especially dynamic components, layout, styles, adding your style, um, adding sky to your model, for example, to have just a nice uh, background and watermarks, to have a nice uh, um, looking uh, model, um, rendering, and uh, talk a little bit about uh, um, SketchUp Viewer, an application that I find really useful for iPads. You know, if you want to show to your client your work and you can actually take measurements and all this, you know, so 
it's really useful application and yeah that's it and then what's coming next so what now is something i suggest to 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 in the end of the course if you want to go to do something like rendering your clients in rather than the other course that really it takes your SketchUp model to another level, definitely. Um, but yeah, but with SketchUp, you have a great base uh, piece of software that you don't need any other software, really. If you, if you want, you can just work with SketchUp, okay? In the Facebook group, we're going to explore more tips, more tricks. Uh, and I really hope the other students suggest things as well that they learn by themselves, because you always need to be exploring by yourself. Uh, okay, but this definitely, I think the course is very complete and uh, is definitely going to, you're going to be able to see that SketchUp can be as basic or as complex as you want. And just with the basic, you can do great things with your design, but you can go as complex as you really want. Okay, so enjoy and uh, please, um, if you have any doubts or anything, contact me. Okay. Um, and you can take a look in the garden design tools uh, uh, that's the courses okay and uh, you can check it out the other courses as well okay okay guys see you next time